Last night, 14 strangers took on the Alps of New Zealand in an attempt to hold on to their share of $1 million. And my gosh, it was intense. <laughs> hey, Siri. <laughs> hey, Siri, which way do we go? You're going to get a chance to steal someone's money. Oh, you bastard. stress of this show. Poor old Steve. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to really leave someone behind, isn't it? And the host of the summit, Aussie actor Jai Courtney, joins us from New Mexico. Hey, man, G'day, how are you? What's up, guys? How are you doing? Well, uh, just still lifting my jaw from the floor after last <laughs> night's episode. Um, this is a very different, very new role for you. Tell us what drew you to the summit. Uh, I think, you know, obviously a fan of, of, of action and adventure in, in general uh, as a genre. Um, I was kind of had my interest peak when I was approached for it. But I think learning what the producers wanted to do with this and how they wanted to push the boundaries within this space and try and sort of present something that we, we hadn't really seen before, um, you know, made it really exciting. And, and obviously, you know, the experience of making it was was just that, so uh, I was thrilled to be a part of it. So when you're a part of it, though, and in that first episode last night, we saw the tension right out the gate between Kitty and the rest of the team. Mm. When you're there, what was it like watching it all go down? Oh, it's great. I mean, it's a lot less stressful for me than it is for, for them because, you know, I'm not battling the elements so much. I kind of... I get the lucky job of choppering in to work and then mm -hmm. choppering out. Have you got, like, a trailer and everything going on? Is it all Hollywood for you and they're just, like, struggling? <laughs> yeah, I was comfy down the bottom of the mountain. But, uh, <laughs> Some luxury but it's good. I'd kind of keep tabs, you know. I'd keep tabs on them and, and, and I'd get sort of sent stuff and see what was going on and then, of course, get to come in and, and either, you know, make their day a little better or, or usually a little worse yeah. uh, by whatever <laughs> I reveal. You know, I'm, I'm watching this bridge um, challenge last night with the sliding planks and the buzzer, the chopper coming in yeah. for a quick buzz off to the side. I'm thinking, how could it get any worse than this? This is so hard. But then you keep showing shots of the summit, the literal summit, covered in snow and ice. So what is still yet to come for these guys? What are some of the crazy things you're going to make them do? Oh, tons. I mean, there's there's curveballs that are going to get thrown at them that will really test their loyalty to one another. Obviously, the, the big catch is they've got to travel as a group. Um, so, you know, you're going to see folks really want to peel ahead of some of the, the squeakier wheels. Um, but those people that are more athletically gifted aren't necessarily always going to have the advantage in, in the game. We, we certainly make it hard for them as well. Oh, that's good. But, uh, I think there's daunting challenges and, and, you know, the terrain they have to cover is is truly exceptional and, and very, very, um, you know, it's going to be tough. Mm. It's beautiful terrain too, but, like, when you're watching people go through that, as an actor, I suppose, you're sort of also soaking in their reactions because they're having really visceral... I mean, you do a lot of action stuff, but it's all really contained. It's all with stunt yeah. work and people watching and insurances. These guys are doing it tough. They really are. They really are. And, look, our crew did it tough as well, you know. There were... There's folks that filmed this thing that had to... They walked every step of that of that trek uh, with them, and and so you know, I got a shout out to the remarkable folks that made made shooting this you know possible. But yeah. really, the idea was just to we set out to make something that was as exciting and nail biting as a as an eighties action film, and I think uh, we've achieved just that. Uh, we've never That's seen so... anything like it. It is so much fun. Um, tell us why are you in New Mexico other than thawing out? <laughs> I'm so, thawing out and growing uh, hair out of every orifice um i'm uh, i'm i'm working on a netflix miniseries doing a western it's called american primeval uh it's a lot of fun it's been a lot of a lot of horse riding and a lot of um gruesome like work as well but i'm, I'm having a ball love it well Playing listen a bad guy stay as, on I, the, as i tend to stay on the horse mate and be good we'll speak to you soon <laughs> thanks for being here thanks joe right. congrats Great. on the show it's awesome and you can watch episode two of the summit live on nine tonight at 7 30 go on to nine now and watch the first step it is Unreal. Hey there, today fans, Sarah and...
Okay. What's my name again? Oh my goodness, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?